Hello and welcome to the ramblings of a madman. Or, how do you spend over five hours recording a very simple video series? In case you haven't guessed by now, this might be a little bit different than what I've normally done. What started off as a way to show how game engines are very similar and how you don't really need to pick sides, just find something that works for you and use it, turned into some long project that just refused to finish and get done properly. If you watch this video series, good luck. It's over five hours. I've got 11 different videos. At various points, I just start rambling for some reason based on getting lost while I'm trying to play and getting things working properly. But if you make it through, in the end, you will find that I create this simple project in both Unreal Engine and in Unity over the course of about five and a half hours or so. There's five hours, 41 minutes, technically, before I edit a couple seconds here and there. And it's going to ramble. I am going to ramble. I'm going to get lost. I'm going to forget what I was doing and how to do things at multiple points. And the main reason is when I originally planned this, assuming I had time, I planned on doing this as a live stream. And it would have worked out a ton better as a live stream. And I found out that it pretty much didn't work out as well as a video series because there's a lot of going back and forth. There's a lot of repeatedness. There's a lot of hand-holding, even though I didn't plan on it. And it just, you know, it's not as good of a video series as I had hoped. But with that out of the way, it is something. You can watch me create these projects in both Unity and Unreal Engine. And you can see that there's not a ton of difference between the two of them. I'm hoping that's what you'll get from this. That you'll simply pick the engine or the programming tool set based on your requirements for what you're trying to do. And then get your game accomplished and done. I'm not going to edit the videos beyond just clipping off my test audio in the beginning and the end. There will be times, again, where I just ramble on and on because I'm trying to remember how to do something. Or maybe I make a design decision change in the middle, which is normal when you're doing development. I also think I drop an expletive or two at various points. I honestly don't remember. So if that happens, feel free to comment and let me know which video it was in. And um, other than that... I wish you luck. I hope that you do watch the video. If you have any opinions or comments, leave them on the appropriate videos wherever. If you like the series or you think there's merit here, contrasting, not necessarily contrasting, but showing how things are done in multiple engines, let me know. Maybe the execution was poor, but the idea was good. That's what I'm kind of thinking. And if you agree with that, let me know. Maybe my idea was horrible and my execution was horrible let me know i don't really care just give me some feedback and we can hopefully iterate and improve on this and the next one will be a little bit more to everyone's liking and with that said have fun and the next video should start soon